was so sweet, Jaden. That was sweet. That was really nice of you. Cheese. Cheese. Larry Ann and Rudy. Hey guys, what's goody? It is Larjay here. I am in the kitchen. We've got Mr. Jaden. Say hi. You wanna say hi? Yeah. And we've got Mr. Rudy over hi. there who is cooking dinner. He made up a meal, boys and girls. I am supposed to be reading the scripture of the day to you. Oh, he woke up. Jonathan just woke up. I just put him down. I guess I can't go read it to you because Jonathan woke up and my charger, my phone is charging in the bedroom. So, uh, man, I really wanted to spend some time with Rudy and Jaden. I've been with Jonathan all day. I know that doesn't sound very nice. It doesn't sound like a nice thing to say, but... When you've been in bed literally all day, it's tiring. I've only left the bedroom to go eat a little bit and feed Jaden and I'm tired boys and girls. <sighs> okay, so I got Jonathan to settle down a little bit. So I'm gonna read the scripture of the day to you. It comes to us from 1 John 4 verses 11 to 12. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. Amen. I know it's really hard to love everybody. <laughs> it, trust me, it's difficult, because some people are annoying. But we gotta love people because God says so. And if God says we gotta do it, then we should do it, right? Mmm, yumma. So dinner was good. I nursed Jonathan and I'm about to try to see if I could take a nap but before I take a nap I went into the pantry and I got a honey bun Rudy bought honey buns from stop and shop the other day I don't know why he did that why would you buy honey buns I'm gonna eat them all no I'm kidding I've only had one this is my first one and it's so good but honey buns are so bad for you so like I'm gonna try to not eat anymore it's like a pack of four and I think he already ate like two of course, because Rudy loves donuts. Rudy used to be fat when he was little. <laughs> I used to be chubby too, so no worries. I was feeling a little down. Like, after I recorded that last clip, I was pretty sad. Because, I don't know, like... The thing is, I don't like to come on the vlogs and sound like I'm complaining. I would hate for anyone to say, like, Oh my gosh, she is so ungrateful. Like, I'd, I'd hate for anyone to say that. So I never really like to tell you guys how I feel. But I feel like if I don't tell you how I feel, then I'm being fake. And so it's like a catch-22, you know? Catch-22. No, that's not how the song goes. How's that song go? You know that song by... What's his name? I can't remember his name. But it's a song about him being in love with a married woman. It's from like the... Either the late 90s or the early 2000s. Maybe you can win someone and to lose. But I wish I'd never met her. Even though I love her so, but she got love for me. Oh, 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 oh. But she still belongs to someone else. Why in the world did I start the song so high? And you guys probably saw all my cavities. Speaking of cavities, okay, this is embarrassing, right? I haven't had a lot of cavities, you know, as a child. Like, I never really had a lot. I probably had maybe two or four. <laughs> Whatever the normal amount is, that's what I had. But now as an adult, I feel like I have one. Like, this tooth um, somewhere in the bottom here. This one. Pretty sure there's a cavity there. And eating all that ice while I was pregnant definitely messed up my teeth. Because now my teeth are so sensitive. I feel like I'm going to have to buy Sensodyne. Oh my goodness. But... Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking to you guys. I'm supposed to be trying to sleep because he is sleeping, right? You're sleeping, Mr. Jonathan? And he's not going to stay asleep forever, so I'm going to stop talking now and try to take a nap. All right, guys, good morning. It is the next day. I did take a nap after that last clip. That's what I said I was going to do, right? I said I was going to take a nap. Well, I did. I slept for a good two hours, and I woke up with a huge headache. I was really upset. What I didn't tell you guys was that I've been suffering from constipation for the past week. <laughs> I 
Don't you love how much information I give you in these vlogs? Let me tell you something. Mommies who are either thinking about getting pregnant or are pregnant and about to give birth, make sure that you stay on top of your colace after you leave the hospital, bay girl, all right? Stool softeners, I don't care what brand it is. Don't stop taking them joints, okay? Because I made the mistake of not taking my colace for like three, four days. Girl, let me tell you something, all right? Constipation is serious. After, especially after you've had a c-section. I don't know what it's like for vaginal birth, but it is no joke because you have no abdominal strength and you can't push the poop out. So it was hell on earth, I'll tell you that. Rudy had to run to Walgreens at one o'clock in the morning to get me some magnesium citrate and that thing did not kick in for eight hours. So this morning, by the grace of God and with the help of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Let me tell you something, you know it's serious when you're praying on the toilet. I'm not joking, okay? When you say thank you, Jord, instead of thank you, Jesus, or thank you, Lord, that's when you know it's serious poop that's going on, okay? <laughs> serious. I, ugh. I praised Jesus on the toilet. Yes, I did. Because it's, it's horrific. Just in case you've never been constipated in your life, you can live vicariously through me right now, okay? And I pray that it never happens to you, okay? Mr. Jonathan is here. He was so cute this morning. He was actually smiling at me, I think. I think he was smiling. But, you know, I'm gonna try to have a good day today. I'm really gonna try and I hope that it, it works, you know, because ah, it's just tough. Having tough days are tough because it's just not nice. <laughs> I woke up to snow this morning. Um, that's a blessing. I think snow is absolutely beautiful. I don't like to walk in it, but it's nice. And I was able to get some good sleep. I did not have to wake up this morning until like after five. I had a meal in the fridge for Jonathan. Rudy fed that to him. And then I pumped out a second meal and Rudy was able to feed that to him this morning. So that was great. Now, I'm gonna go downstairs and try and make myself some breakfast. And I need to edit the vlog. And yeah, that is my life right now. Double Yeah. What else? Oh, Jaden, what are you? Are you an animal? Hmm? Alright, guys, I'm downstairs in the kitchen with Mr. Jaden. Say hi. Hello. Yeah. You're not gonna say hi? And Jonathan's over here, he just fell asleep. Guys, I deserve some kind of medal, okay? You know how I was feeding Jaden? I had Jonathan on the shoulder because Jonathan demanded that I stand with him and hold him up here. So I was holding him by the neck like this, and then I had a spoon with applesauce, and I was feeding Jaden like this. So I had the baby over here, I was standing, and listen guys, I mentioned in another vlog that I need to go to the doctor and talk to her about possibly like, checking out my thyroid i also need to talk to her about doing an x-ray on my hip my hips have been hurting me my right hip not both of them it's very very uncomfortable i feel it when i lie down flat on my back i feel it when i stand and i feel it when i walk so basically i feel it all the time and you know it makes me really sad because my pelvic issues are no longer there like i'm fine don't have to worry about that anymore but now it's a hip and my hip was giving me trouble during birth too it's one of the reasons why I was screaming at the nurses I was like everything hurts because everything hurt and they kept telling me to turn on my hip I was like no my hip hurts but anyway yeah I need to get that checked out <laughs> that was your song Jaden <laughs> he's gonna get you Jaden Jaden, he's coming to get you again. He's gonna get you again. <laughs> hey guys, I am sitting here with my baby. Here he is. I'm being illuminated by the computer light, so don't mind that. Uh, this afternoon was very fun, as you saw from those Snapchat clips. I wanted to grab the camera so badly, but that would require me getting up and coming in here and risking waking up Jonathan. I was like, nah, it's not worth it. It wasn't worth it. Who knew I was going to sing that? Did you know? Did you know? So, 
I am just sitting here and I really want to take a nap, but I have bubble guts. <laughs> you guys remember that I took the magnesium citrate and the terrible side effect is that after it gets all the poop out of your system, it makes you continue to poop. So I have bubble guts and it really sucks and I don't even know- Oh, Jonathan is smiling! Oh, he is just so adorable. I don't even know if Jonathan's gonna stay asleep long enough for me to take a nap. Mummy cooked dinner yesterday and Rudy's picking that up now. She's She saved some leftovers for us because I asked her to. We were gonna order some Thai Japanese food but Mummy called and said, Hey, don't forget the dinner that I cooked and I was just like, oh, okay, sure. So yeah, he's gonna go get that. Jaden completely did not want to eat the dinner that Rudy was feeding to him. He threw literally everything on the floor. And I'm really upset because he wasted a lot of food. He wasted peas, he wasted carrots, he wasted an entire pouch. So I have no idea what Rudy ended up giving him for dinner, but he, I think he's just tired because he did not today, so that might be it. Lastly, I've been putting some lanolin on my lips because my lips are so chapped. The same thing that I put on my nipples, the nipple cream, I put it on my lips. And tomorrow I'm gonna try to see if I can get my eyebrows waxed and my nails done. I just want to look cute, guys. I had a really good day today and I want to look like I had a good day. Most days, you know, like, I don't know, my eyebrows haven't been waxed in a while. My birthday's next week, Friday. And um, I need to wax the hairs on my chin. Girls, how many of you have hair on your chins and mustaches? Don't be ashamed to tell the boys, okay? because it's reality. A lot of us have it and we pretend we don't and I don't know why. So I need to either get a wax, which I don't usually do, or pluck them joints because I'm tired of seeing them. Okay? Okay. So that's it for now. I'll close out the vlog later if I remember. Rudy and I are laughing at Jonathan. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. <laughs> I wrote on Twitter the other day, I was like, Jonathan is really cute, but he makes really ugly faces. And now he's asleep again. We're watching um, Mindy Project. Mr. Dolphins. The Mindy Project is a show I like to watch when I want to laugh. So we're watching that. And whenever jo Jonathan wakes up, I'm gonna feed him. Ready to eat now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that song in the beginning of Rock Band? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get you some food. He's not even awake. I know, he's still, still sleeping. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is it. This is the end of the vlog. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye. I love you. This is their story.